mighty, mighty good God. We serve a God who is not the author of confusion. We serve a God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think. Come on, somebody. We serve a God who never fails. Come on, somebody. We serve an on-time God. Come on, somebody. We serve a God that even when we don't deserve it, he's still good. Come on, somebody. Come on. And, that, and that's why the Bible says, let everything that have breath. Praise ye the Lord. I will not let the rocks cry out for me. God's been too good. I don't know about nobody else. I will not let the rocks. I'm going to say that again. I'm sorry. Let me that hit me. I will not let the rocks cry out for me because God's been too good. Hallelujah. So, God, we want to say thank you. We thank you. If you don't do anything else, we just want to say thank you. Because you've been so good. Amen. Do I have a witness? Come on. Welcome to Greater Destiny. Family Worship Center. You better take a mic and bring yourself up here. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. <laughs> Come on. Worship is corporate, so I'm not doing this by myself. Come on. If you have a heart for God, I don't care how you sound. If you're a worshiper, I don't care how you sound. But if your heart is in the right place, hey! <laughs> if you have a heart for God, if you have a heart for worship, you have a relationship with him. Amen. I feel good. Something's getting ready to happen. Keep me in prayer because my chest was tight, right? And sometimes when my chest gets tight, something's getting ready to happen. And I know that there's a release that's getting ready to take place. Not just on today, but just in the world period. The nation, period. So come on, Sister Jamira. Hallelujah. So we want to say thank you, Lord. Y'all better play. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands. Come on. Come on, watch it online. Clap your hands.
my spirit want to do another. People get that scripture messed up. Please turn me down. <laughs> I'm sorry. People get it twisted on the, uh, my God, the scripture that says we wrestle not against flesh and blood or more so like how can two walk together except they agree, right? And a lot of times people are talking about this person, two people, <laughs> but we're talking about flesh and spirit with itself. When your flesh wants to do one thing, but God said, I said, go this way. God said, I told you to go right, but you went left. So how can two walk together and set they free? So you got to command your flesh to come under the subjection of the Holy Ghost. You <laughs> come on. So I was telling my oldest daughter, I said my doctor had put me on a new medication for anxiety. But the crazy part about it is that I took none of it. So I'm going three weeks home without taking my anxiety meds. And this is why I said, I said, you have to, even though you have met, understand, you got to use wisdom and understanding that you know what's going on in your house. But I took those medicines out and I put them on my countertop. And I said, let me take, let me talk to you for a second. But you ain't going to. <laughs> you got to talk to it. You got to let it know. I, no, 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 no. Oh, I got control over you because of God that lives inside of me. See, greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. But the crazy part about it, the question is, is how big is your God that lives inside of you? Can we go to the next song, please? I'm going to leave it right there. Ask that question. How big is your God? Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. So how big is your God? to the house of God.
God. Well, we welcome you. We hope that you experience a powerful worship, a powerful praise, and a powerful word. And we pray and hope that you come with us again. In Jesus' name. you if you want to join me you can join me but I told God when I got to church this morning for all the hell I've been through this week alone 
and I was going to give him some praise when I got to the church. And I'm not going to break my promise for nobody because I know how good God been to me. So if you don't mind me, just give me two seconds. part of the service that everybody can play a part in. Amen. God gives unto us. He makes sure we got food on our table. We got gas in our vehicles to go back and forth to work. Huh? It's time to give unto the house of God. Oshana. Woo! Shanda. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And I don't mind giving my pennies to God. Huh? Because I know he'll give it right back. God. Amen. I'm going to say a prayer over this offering because it's getting good in here. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for everybody who's going to give on today, God, Lord. And even the ones that don't have the means to give, Lord, we ask you, Lord, to bless them, God, Lord, so that they'll be able to give next time, God, Lord. Lord, bless the church offering in Jesus' name. Amen. You may come as you are. Amen. And if you, if you do not have cash on you, you can give on dollar sign GDFWC. Sister Sykes is up here with this machine. God bless. Yeah. 
Check. Turn this down. So. Turn it down. Come on. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. How many souls says yes on today? Anybody got a yes in their spirit for the Lord? I don't know about you, but my soul still says yes. Tell somebody, say, my soul still says yes. My soul still says Amen. Yes.
your neighbor say, you don't know what that yes just did. I got some things before the altar and that yes just gave me access. That yes just won the victory. It's been a fixed fight, but thank God that yes. Tell somebody, give them another yes. Because every time I say yes, I win. Every time I say yes, I've got victory. Every time I say yes, he fights for me. Come on, clap your hands and put a yes in your mouth. Help to clap your hands real fast and say yes, Lord. Come on, that's how we used to do it in the old church. Clap your hands and say yes, Lord. I might not understand everything. I might not know everything. I might not even see everything. But my faith says I'll give you a yes because I trust you. I'll give you a yes because your credit is good with me. Say, Molly, say my soul says yeah. My soul says yeah. Come on, my soul says yes. Woo, hallelujah. We got to move on from here, but I feel a praise. And we not praising him because he done anything. Praise it because I remember a time when I didn't tell him yes. I remember a time when I couldn't tell him yes. They used to sing a song, I was bound by the power of Satan. But I've been delivered to him. I've been, come on, and he who the Son is set free. I ain't got no help here today. I said, he who the Son is set free. I wonder where's the he who at? <laughs> Tell your neighbor, I'm part of that he who. The Son has set free. Hey, Mac, do me, give me some volume in these speakers. Hallelujah. He who the Son is set free is free indeed. Hallelujah. And I and because God has set me free, why should I be bound? I remember a time and I'm praising him for my yes, Keisha. Come on, I said I'm praising him for my yes. A lot of folk can praise him for a lot of things, but thank God I'm saved. Thank God not only am I saved, but I'm sanctified. Come on, some of us might have been playing church, but come on, say I'm not playing church no more. I mean this thing. Come on, with all of my heart. Anybody want to give God a new yes? Anybody want to give God a fresh yes? The yes I gave him yesterday was for yesterday. But I got a new yes I want to give him today. I got a new yes because I got a new opportunity. I got a new door opening me. Come on here. I got new mercies that I'm going to see. So I'm going to give him a new yes. Red right back and shout yes. Come on and say yes. Say yes, Lord. Now clap your hands real good and give him praise.
we're going to move on from here. But I guarantee because you told him yes here, he going to fix some stuff back at your house. I said because you told him yes here in the sanctuary, in the congregation of the righteous, can I prophesy and tell you by the time you get home, some things that were broken, some things that were in discord, some things that will come on here, turmoil and trouble. But by the time I get home, because I chose to tell God yes, in the face of hell, in the face of adversity, in the face of my trouble, I still choose God. I still tell him yes. Yes, I'll trust you. Yes, I'll serve you. Yes, I'll read your word. Yes, I'll do your will. Yeah. All right. Hallelujah. My soul says yes. All right. We better leave it alone. Hey. Come on, let's praise him. There's praise in the house. Clap your hands, oh ye people. All right, we got to move on from here. But just look at somebody on your row say, I'd like to give an honor to God who's head of my life. Come on, let's testify. Thank God for my life, health, and strength. I just want to say this one thing to your neighbor. Come on, say it. I just want to say this one thing to your neighbor. It could have been another way. These two words, but God. That's all I got to say to you this afternoon, but God. I should have been dead, but God. I would have been sleeping in my grave. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me preach. I should have died of an overdose. I should have died in that abusive relationship. I should have died in sin. Somebody say, but God, he wouldn't let me die. Hey. All right, hallelujah to move on from here but God bless you we greet you in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I don't know with you but it's good that I have been here it's good for us to be here amen for our soul shall make her boast in the Lord hallelujah and I'm so glad that my soul has been anchored in Jesus I remember a time come on here I said I remember a time Hallelujah, my soul wasn't anchored, and my eternal resting place was unsure. But one thing for certain, two things for sure. Hallelujah, Jesus got my life now, and I ain't got to live in fear. Come on, y'all talk to me. I ain't got to live in fear, because I know heaven is my home. Oh, I, I can shout right on that. Hallelujah, Jamir, because heaven is our home. I ain't got to live down here in hell and then die and go to hell. Come on here. But he secured for me a place of eternal rest. A place that in his presence where I can experience the fullness of joy. Hallelujah. We certainly praise God. We certainly honor God. I want to honor everyone that was in position today. God bless you. Amen. We were a little late because we had to support another service. But I thank you all for being in position. Amen. Somebody say a mature church. I jokingly said, I said, oh, we, I said, greater destiny, I was bragging, I said, greater destiny is a well-oiled machine. I said, well, I said, well, wait a minute, we'll find out today. <laughs> Amen, I'm not crazy, but thank God you've done just well. Amen, and we appreciate you for being in position, not to honor me, but to honor God. Amen, come on, say amen. That you be in a position, don't do it because the pastor's watching, who cares about that? God is watching. And we put more emphasis on pleasing man than we put on God. Come on, say amen. But somebody say, I'm done pleasing man. Come on here. I'm done living for the uh, attention and the approval of man. But I want God to be pleased with me. 
And that's why I serve the way I, that's why I usher like I usher, I play like I play, I sing like I play, play come on, sing like I sing, come on, nurse like, because I don't, I'm not trying to please man in this season. Man will let you down each and every time. Come on here. But if I can please God, hallelujah, he said there's no good thing he will withhold from me. Come on, if I give him my life, if I give him my, he said there's no good thing. Somebody say, I'm not be limited. I'm getting all the good stuff. This is my season. There's no good thing. Is going. Come on here. This is a season. I'm not being selfish. I'm just being protective. I've got to protect my anointing. I've got to protect the calling on my life. I've got to protect the oil that God has entrusted with me. So excuse me if I'm seeming a little funny, if I seem funny acting or distant. I'm just trying to, come on, protect my anointing. All right. I'm glad to be here. I'm just trying to tell somebody I'm not being funny. I'm just trying to protect my anointing. I can't get involved with everything. I can't comment on Facebook on everything. Come on. I can't be involved in every conversation. I can't snicker and giggle at every, come on, post. And come on here. I've got to protect my anointing because what God has invested in me, somebody's soul is laying in vain. Come on. What God has invested in me, somebody's life is lying in limbo. And if I go back now, what the song say? Great grandma mother May Bennett said, if I go back now I won't get no crown. I think Mother Moore sang it too. Ain't didn't she? And sir, we honor the Lord. Amen. We're going to get right into the word. Hallelujah. But I feel like praising God. And I want to tell you, if we don't do anything else today, saints, someone say, we're going to praise the Lord. I know y'all already been praising, but I feel there's another level here. I feel there's another glory that God wants to take us to. There's another dimension in the spirit. And some of us, we've been praising God and, and then praising God and we've been in emotion. Come on, we've been praising God and we've been in the flesh. But there's a place in the spirit that God wants to take you. Somebody say, I'll take you there. There is a place that God wants to take you in the spirit. Hallelujah. And I believe that we're going to see amen. If we want to see miracles, we got to be able to go somewhere. We got to be able to get up out of our flesh. Get up out of our agenda. Come on, get up out of what we left back home. Hallelujah. Get in charge it to God. Say, God, you got that. But while I'm in the sanctuary, while I'm amongst them that believe, while I'm amongst them that I can get some strength, I want to go to a place in the spirit. Come on and say, take me there. Take me there. Take me. I want to go to a place in the spirit. Hey. A place where I can be healed. A place where I can be free. A place where I can be delivered. A place, come on here. A place where the devil doesn't go. There is a place in the spirit. And so I'm just looking. I'm just looking. I'm just looking for God to take us to a place in the spirit where we've never been before. Come on here. I'm trying to go where we've never been before. Aren't you tired of being where you are? Come on. Aren't you tired? And if you continue to build God and unto the Holy Ghost just said, he'll take you to a place where the eyes have not seen. And y'all been praising God for those things. We've been talking about the eyes have not seen for a long time. But come on. There's a place in the spirit that the eyes have not seen. Someone forget about the materialistic things. Forget about the fleshly things. Forget about the earthly things. But he said, set your affection on things above and not things on this earth. For we look not on the things which are seen, for the things which are seen are temporal. But I'm looking for the stuff I cannot see, for the stuff I cannot see is eternal. And it's all in through Christ Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. We better leave that alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Something happens when you call a mom, Linda. Let's try it again. Somebody say Jesus. Ain't he all right with you, Mother Trammell? Somebody say Jesus. All right. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. I better leave that alone. Something happened, you know, there was a disconnect somewhere in the church where the things that were holy became carnal and common. But I want to go back to a place of reverence. Come on. 
Tell we got to go back to a place where we reverence God, God will honor us. Come on. And you wonder why your life is in despair. Ask yourself, how have you been honoring God? Huh? Ask yourself, how have I really been, have I really been honoring God? Come on. Have I really been, come on. Hmm. <laughs> come on here. Nothing beats nothing but a try. Come on here. And so we honor the Lord. God bless you. I'm done. <laughs> I did that portion anyway. That was appetizer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But put it down your row. Say Jesus is in the atmosphere. Come on, somebody say Jesus is in the atmosphere. Ain't got no room for the devil. This is Jesus' house. Come on here. Ain't got no room for sickness. This is Jesus' house. Tell them somebody, God dwells here. Hallelujah. All right. Yes, Lord. All right. Lamentations 3. Somebody ought to be bold enough to shout, Jesus. Don't you feel like something's about to happen in the spirit? Don't you feel like something's about, can't you feel it? Am I the only one that feels that I'm on the verge of something? That I'm about to get a breakthrough. I'm a, come on here. I'm just at the edge. Come on. Some of you are at the end of your rope, at the end of your line. But don't you know that God is setting you up for a miracle? God is setting you up for a blessing. You're not at the end of your rope, but you're on the edge of a miracle. You're not at the end of the line, but you're next in line. Hallelujah. High five your neighbor. That's all right. The Holy High five your neighbor. Say, I've got next. I've got next. Come on, somebody. I got next. Shanique, because I told him, yes, I got yes. Matter of fact, he said, yo, yes, has just moved you to the front of the line. Hey! Hey! Move to the front of the line. Access granted. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I better leave it up. better quit we get lost here we won't preach but just tell somebody God made me a promise and I'm going to praise him until my next becomes my now how I shall live to see what he said about me he made me a promise God made me a promise all right have your way Limitations to third chapter. <laughs> Y'all mean to tell me I waited all week to get here. Come on here. We don't know the hell it took for somebody to get here this week. We don't know what they had to endure to get here this week. And now that I'm in the presence of the Lord, where I can get everything I need, I'm going to get to my boat. you need. I said you better get what you need. The best place to get a miracle is to praise him in the face of adversity. He made me a promise. 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 Promise! He's a promise! 
you. The Lord keep you. The Lord calls his face to shine upon you and give you hope and peace. I even speak to your body now and I command everything out of order to line up in Jesus name. Kidney function, lung function, come on bladder, pancreas, liver. I, I don't ask it but I command it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be whole, be healed in Jesus name. He said woman of God, I am the that healeth thee. I am the Lord that maketh you whole. And gee, come on. He made me a promise. Made me a promise. Yes. Made me a promise. I just shout Jesus. I'm trying to move on from here, but something's holding me. Yay. I'm trying to move on from here. Ah, but somebody say, what you need is in the room tonight. What you need is in the atmosphere. You ain't got to wait till the battle's over. You ain't got to wait till you see victory. What you do now in the valley determines your mountaintop. Hallelujah. What you do now in hell determines your, your miracle. Lamentations chapter 3. <laughs> Hallelujah. He made me a promise. Lift your hands in the presence of the Lord. There's a release in this room. Come on. Come on, lift your hands in his presence. Hallelujah. Lift your hands in the other day. Come on, worship him. Hallelujah. Come on, worship him. Oh, bless his wonderful and holy name. Come on, bless his name. Come on, come on. We surrender everything to you. We surrender our trouble, our problem, our heaviness. Come on. Release it in this atmosphere. Come on, it's here. Come on, it's here. Come on, it's here. He wants to set you free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the fight has been intensified. Come on, he wants to set you free. He wants to heal your heart. He wants to secure your heart. He wants to strengthen your spirit. Come on, lift up your hands and receive strength today. Come on, lift up your hands and receive power. Come on, receive your freedom. I heard it free indeed. Come on, there's freedom in this atmosphere. Hey, we worship you, Jesus. Come on, we worship you, Jesus. You're the healer of our heart. You're the keeper of our souls. We look to you, Father. Come here. We look to you, Father, evangelist. Head up and lift your hands, woman of God. Heal the heart. Enough is enough. Depression can't leave. Depression can't live here. Depression, you're dwelling illegally. We cast you out. Send a refreshing in the spirit. Oh! Send a refreshing in the spirit. He's healing the broken hearted. Hey! I'm the Lord that healeth thee. I'm the Lord that healeth thee. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, come on. That's it. There's a release for you, woman of God. Come on, release it all. Surrender it all. You've been trying to carry it. You've been trying to figure it out. You've been trying to even work it out. Find other ways to soothe the pain. Other ways to soothe the anger. But we release anger. I command that anger to leave you now. Come on, I come here. Hallelujah. Give me some oil. There's freedom in the spirit. Come on, lift your hands. Y'all tired? There's freedom in the spirit. There's freedom. The oil of joy. The oil of joy. 
joy is yours. The oil of joy. Freedom. All right. Hallelujah. He who the Son is set free is free indeed. I don't want to bother you, but after you suffered a while, then the Lord shall settle you. Hey! This is the Lord's doing. Hey, Baba. He said, I got you right where I want you. Hey, this is the Lord's doing, and it's marvelous in his eyes. But after you suffer, hey, go through, go through. He's giving you strength to Everything's gonna be all right. How? He said, I'm the Lord and I shall fight for you. Hey, glory, because your heart is right. He said, I've been just trying to condition your heart. I've been conditioning your heart, but he said, your heart is ready. Come on, lift your hands and say, my heart is ready. The heart is ready. My heart is ready. My heart is ready. And he said, I shall fight for you. <laughs> for healing. But after you suffer a while, I shall settle you. I shall strengthen you. I shall perfect those things concerning you. I'll give you victory. I'll bless you in the city. I'll bless you in the field. I'll bless you in the church. I'll bless you in your home. How? Let's do this. Um, if, if, if I, was, I know you prepared to preach. <laughs> hey, man, come here. Would you do me a favor? Sister Cheryl, raise your hand in the back for me. Would you just embrace her? There's a breakthrough for you today. Hallelujah. God said he has not forgotten. Somebody say, Cheryl, God has not forgotten. Somebody say, Cheryl, God has not forgotten you. He shall remember your name. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad that God never forgot you? Huh? Folk will forget your name. They'll forget to pay you. Come on here, forget to call you. Come on here, but God will never, come on. God will never forget your name. Come on, somebody. I don't care as many people for as long as God doesn't forget me. Come on, somebody say, God won't forget me, but he's faithful to keep that which I have committed unto him. God will never forget me. Woo! I think it's some, it's, it's some leftover glory in here from last week. And he said, before I take it back, I'll add more to it. Lift your hands. Come on, say, yes, Lord. All right. Y'all all right? Lamentations chapter 3. I guess I'll just give you the scripture. We'll move on from here because God is having his way. 
and I can't dare try to do too much here. Hallelujah. Somebody just say, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Lamentations chapter 3. Uh, we're going to just read one verse, well, maybe two verses of scripture. Amen. Uh, three verses of scripture. And then I'll take my seat. Amen. Uh, Lamentations chapter 3 verse 21 says, This I call to mind. Come on, get real churchy with me. This I recall to my mind. Therefore, I have hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we have not been consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new how many mornings? And I just came to testify and say, great is thy faithfulness. I better leave that alone. I felt like running right then, Sharon. Woo! I felt just, I felt like running. I'm trying to tell you. That's what I wanted to come and tell you today. That great is the faithfulness of our God. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Great is the faithfulness of our God. If I don't say anything else, I just want you to know God is faithful. And he's greatly faithful. And I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're dealing with in this moment. I don't care what hell you got to go back home to, what trouble you got to go back home to, what reality you have to go back to. Because in church, we sometimes get into a place where we have stepped out of reality. Amen. And there's a place where we can receive strength. Amen. Where we can, amen, have an escape from the hell that we've got to go back to. So I don't know what you got to go back to. I don't know your situation. I don't know your circumstance. I don't know your homestead. But I just want to tell you this one thing, that when you go back home, God's going back with you. They used to sing a song, take the Lord God with you. Amen. And I just want to tell you that our God is a faithful God. And he's faithful to remember you. He's faithful not to forget all that you have done for him. And he's a rewarder. He's a rewarder. So if, I don't, if you don't remember anything else today, when you go to home this week, because I don't know what challenges, just don't think, let's not be our naive. The devil's going to challenge some of your faith this week. But when the devil rears his ugly head, oh, you got to come back with the word like Jesus did. Hallelujah. He said, every time the devil came to Jesus after he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he said, cast thyself down and come on so that the angels get charged to keep you. And he said, it is written that thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Jesus was hungry. He said, command these stones to be turned into bread. He said, but man shall not live by bread alone. Every time the enemy showed his face, the way you fight your battle is with the word of God. And that's why you got to study and read and fast study that you got something to fight with. You got a weapon. You got a law. Come on. You got to build your arsenal. You got to build your weaponry. Come on, somebody say yeah. Not only is praise a weapon, but the word is a weapon. For the word says that the word of God is swift and powerful and is sharper than any two-edged sword. All right. In the word of God. Oh, I got to just make sure y'all churchy. And so I just want to leave you with this. I'm going to read it again because I want to. This I recall to my mind. Therefore, I, you got to understand where the prophet was coming from. When he wrote the, this song, this particular uh, uh, writing, he started, the, he started this, if you read the beginning of it, he started talking about all the terrible things that seemingly God had done for him or done to him. He started out saying, let's read it. Let me give you a couple of it. Y'all don't believe me? Let somebody say, give me Bible. I don't even, it said 13. He caused the arrows of his quiver to enter into my reins. I was derision of my people and their song all the day. He had filled me with bitterness. He had made me drunken with wormwood. He had also broken my teeth. And he was in a terrible place. And some of you think you're going through and say, you ain't seen, you ain't really struggling. Your struggle is a pace of your mind. And if you can get the struggle out your mind, come on, and you can get the, come on here, because your mind is a battleground for the devil. Your mind.
mind is the place where the enemy fights you and he interjects things to you and want to suggest things and drop things in you. You won't even think about, I'm feeling, I'm depressed. Where did that come from? The devil is a liar. I'm so lonely. Where did that come from? The devil is a liar. Nobody loves me. Where did that come from? They don't like me. The devil is a He's a bald-faced liar. And so the enemy will fight you as he, even the prophet, the very elect was in there tripping. Somebody say tripping. tripping. He was tripping saying God had done. But you know God didn't do all of that to him. It was a place in his mind and had he not only, if he only had an understanding. But he said, I reckon that the suffering. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, anybody suffering? Come on, tell the truth. Anybody going through? Ooh, somebody say, I'm, I'm just so tired. Every time I turn around, if it's not one thing, if the refrigerator ain't broken, the stove didn't stop working. If the stove didn't stop working, the dog stopped barking. If the dog didn't stop barking, the children started cutting up. Come on. If it's not one thing, it's another. It's enough to make you lose your mind. It's enough to make you go out of control. Every time you turn around, you're getting bad news after bad news. Can you imagine how Job fell? Job was chilling with his homies. Hallelujah. And one homie said, well, all the cattle is dead. And before he could leave, another homie said, well, all the land has been burnt up. And before he left, another comes said, all your children is dead. If it's not one thing, and, and, and this is how the prophet was feeling in this moment, Shani. He was feeling the pressure of what he was going through. But somebody say, don't break under the pressure. The pressure was never meant to break you. And if we understand how diamonds, y'all know y'all like diamonds. Y'all see, y'all like how y'all like diamonds. I like diamonds too. Y'all like diamonds. If we understand the process of great jewels, your worth is not seen until you've gone through pressure. People really don't know, amen, the sincerity of your heart, amen, and the caliber of your character until you've been tested. And God is trying to test your character to see if you're diamond worthy. The, the prophet was so distorted. I mean, he was saying all kind of crazy stuff. God, you've done this. Let me read, let me read some more. Y'all don't believe me? Maybe you might find your testimony in here. I am a man that have been afflicted by the rod of his wrath. Y'all feel like God's wrath is on you? Tell the truth and shame the devil. He have led me and brought me into darkness, but not into the light. And he told me to walk in the light, but he brought me to darkness. Woo! Surely against me is he turned. He turneth his hand against me all the day. My flesh and my skin hath he made old, and he hath broken my bones. Come on here, sickness and disease. He hath built against me and compassed me with the gown of travail. He hath set me in dark places, and they are dead and old. He hath hedged me out, and I cannot get out. Hath made my chains heavy. The, the, he was saying all these things. He was saying all these things, Brother Sharon, sound familiar? Like some of you, God, why? I don't understand the, the season that I am. I just don't understand why well, I'm going through. I, I come to church every Sunday. I read my word. I'm fasting and I'm praying. I'm living right. I ain't having sex with nobody. Come on here. I, y'all ain't listening. Come on, sir. Come on. Come on. I ain't cussed nobody out in a long time. I ain't been in no fist fights, no, no, no bar brawls. Come on here. I had no tequila, no whiskey, no, no, no Syrah. Henny, I ain't had none of that. Don't say I ain't had none of that, Lord. I ain't had no weed, no cigarette, no TBH, HBT, ABC, and Elemental P. I ain't have none of it. here. I'm trying to live all I know how to live and it seems like the more I want to live right. Seems like the more I want to trust him. The more I want to deny my flesh, the more the flesh want to cut up. The more, amen, hell hits my life. 
and the, and the prophet understood this. He 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 was in, and you know that's why the Bible says we don't have a high priest or the Haman that does not know our afflictions. But we have a high priest that is familiar with all of our afflictions. He's familiar with all of our thoughts, all of our feelings, all of our processes. Oh, he's familiar because guess what? He was also touched by him. He was so God, he couldn't sin, but he was so man that he felt every urge. And he was yet found blameless, the Bible says. Woo! Oh, I feel like when I talk about Jesus, it makes me so happy. I just want to shout and dance. And he came to a conclusion. There came a turning point in his testimony. And, you know, that's why we had to take testimony out of the church. Because, y'all, we, we was getting up giving the devil more glory and talking about war was me and talking about all the bad stuff. And we done forgot you would have got up talking about all the bad. We done forgot what you got up to testify about in the first place. You know, I was, you know, the other day, saints, the dog bit my leg. And after the dog bit my leg, I slammed my finger in the door. And, and then I... I beat somebody, then where's the glory? Where's the testimony? <laughs> we got to teach y'all how to testify all over again. We, we just give more details as what's relevant. All I need, all you need to know, I was in a horrible pit. Oh, but God brought me out. Come on here. I was sinking deep in sin. But God reached down and snatched me out. I like how Mother Ethel, you say, if he had to reach way down. Jesus will pick you up. And, and there, there came a time, somebody said, he came to his senses. He had an awakening. There was a turning point in his life when he came. He said, all these bad things keep happening. Death after death, murder after murder, bad news after bad news. And can, now, can we get a break? But he said, this I recall to mind. Although all this hell is going on in my life, this I recall to mind. You got to amen have a memory, a, a memory, remember, memory of what God has done for you. He said, this I call to mind. Therefore, I found hope in a hopeless situation. This I call back to mind so that I won't sin against God and accuse him falsely. This I call back to mind. He says, therefore, I have hope that it is of the Lord's uh, mercies. Woo. Talk about the mercy of God. Anybody a recipient of God's mercy? Anybody saying I'm living on the mercy of God? By right, I deserve to die as a penalty of my sin. By right, I deserve to die because I didn't cut some people and cut some people and rob some people. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. I know I got some gangsters in here Tell the truth and shame the devil. I didn't lie on some people. I didn't scandalize. I didn't plot it. I didn't schemed. But this I call to mind. Therefore, I have hope. It is of the Lord's mercies. Oh, that thing felt good. That I have not been consumed. It was no goodness of my own, but it was because the mercy of God. It's because the hand of God was on my life. And he would not allow the enemy to have his way with it. It is of the Lord's mercies. Is the musician still on coffee break? Well, that's that's right. Pain up. It's of the Lord's mercies that we have not been consumed. Hallelujah. The enemy had a plan to destroy me. He said, Peter, the enemy wants to sift you as wheat. But he said, I have prayed for you that your faith, it fails not. And when you've been converted, when you've been strengthened, when you've been changed, when your mindset changes, when you put off weakness and put on strength, when you take off sadness and put on joy, he said, when you've been converted, that you would strengthen your brother in him. He said, I would have faded lest I believe to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. I'm not dead. I call to my mind. You got to command your thoughts. You got to command your mind because your mind has a tendency to wonder. Your mind has a tendency to dwell on the ungodly thing, the unhappy thing, the terrible thing. And before you know, you're having. 
having a pity party, sitting in your house with the blinds closed. Hallelujah. You sit up in bed with a gallon of ice cream, but somebody say this, I call to my mind that therefore I have hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that I have not been consumed. The enemy tried to take me out, but I have not been consumed. I've had some bad relationships, but I have not been consumed. I can weeble and I can wobble, but I won't go down because his mercy is holding me. His mercy is covering me. His mercy is keeping me. And that's why I got to call it to mind. He said, this I call to mind. Therefore, I have hope. Hope in a hopeless situation. You ever been in a, in a tunnel so long you couldn't even lift your head up to see the light of day? But he said, I call it to mind so I can get some hope. So I can get some strength to lift up my head to see the, the light at the end of my tunnel. This I call to mind, he says. Therefore, I have hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. I know what some of y'all dealing with some heavy stuff. Somebody say heavy stuff. Some of y'all dealing with some supernatural stuff. And I'm not going to, some of it's spiritual and some of it's physical, but it's still heavy stuff. But can I tell you that God has equipped you to handle the heavy stuff? God has equipped you to handle the difficult stuff. And that's why you're not going because you're standing under the mercies of God. This I call to mind. Therefore, I have hope. It is of the Lord's mercies. Oh, God, I'm sick, but it is of the Lord's mercies. And the doctor's given up on but it is of the Lord's mercies. They just fired me from my job, but it is of the Lord's mercy. They just cut my pension check, but it is of. They just cut my Social Security down, but it is. They just went up on my rent. No, I ain't got up no raise, but it is of that I will not be consumed. For his mercies are new every morning. I just rose to tell you that great is the faithfulness of God. And if you can muster up enough strength in this season to believe and to lean on it and to put your hope in the faithfulness of God, some would trust in horses. <laughs> Some will trust in chariots, but I will remember the name of the Lord. David said, for the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous can run in and be saved. This I call to mind. Call it to mind. Lift up your hands here. I'm done. I want you to call back the faithfulness of God. Call back every time he healed you. Come on, remind yourself every time he made a way. Every time he delivered you. Every time he saved a family member. Come on, call it back to mind. I want you to remember. Remember what he's done for you. Remember how he's brought you thus far. And you think he's going to bring you thus far and let you go out like that? Come on, son, the devil is a liar. And if I think that, I'm a liar too. And the truth ain't in me. He said, let God's word be true. And let every man's word be a... And that means if I'm speaking negative against my own future, then I'll be a lie too. If I'm speaking against what God said about me, then I'm a lie too. And guess what? Here's the kick to it. Every lie shall have its part in the lake of fire. So if I want to prosper, I better believe what God believes. I better say what God says. He said, I'm healed. He said, I'm delivered. He said, I'm more than a conqueror through him that strengthens me. This I call to mind. Stand to your feet. I'm done, man of God. Therefore, mother, I have hope. Come on. I know it's a terrible situation right now, but therefore I have hope. Come on here. That it is of the Lord's mercies. That I have not been consumed. Lift your hands. I am not consumed. 
I am not consumed. I don't need to hear that this afternoon, but I am not consumed. Come on, lift your hands. Say, I am not consumed. I am not consumed. This I call to my mind. Hey, he loves us. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves me. He loves me. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how 
weather the storm. He said he the strength. Hallelujah. Not only to weather the storm, but to bring someone else out.
Thank you, Jesus. already know it but if you would trust him this moment 